Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have a rather exciting video probably for you guys uh, and really shitty video for me because I am for the first time ever going to attempt to craft a one-handed physical damage weapon. Ideally a maze for the Glacial Hammer build. So before I get started I'm gonna just let you guys know what I've done. So this is an 80 item level 83 Auric Mace. Now, this mace specifically, I know there are better ones. Remember, this is SSF. I can't use those better ones unless I find them. Um, so let me go ahead and pop up. Where did the tab go? Did I already close it? No, no, that's right here. Okay, so before we get started, a couple things to note. The mace we are using is an Auric mace, which ideally I think I would want a gavel because gavel is the highest top end and minimum, actually not the minimum, but highest top end, which is good for freezing. Um, they all have the same crit rate, so that doesn't really matter. And again, the attacks per second I think is going to be kind of negligible because we're going to have so much attack speed anyway. Nonetheless, we've got an Auric Mace. Uh, I would assume anything with similar DPS would be fine to craft with. We have a Shaper Mace. I don't know if it's better to use Shaper or Elder. In my opinion, based off of what I've seen, it seems that it's better to use, for my build, it's better to have Elder for rolling prefixes, but Shaper is better for suffixes. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. So over here, I've got this nice website called PoEDB, uh, and you can use it for fossil crafting. And basically what it does is, is you can tag the fossils that you want to use, and it will highlight and remove and prioritize what you are more likely to roll. So this would be it essentially blank with nothing. This is going to be it with what we're doing. We're going to be using a serrated fossil, which is more attack and few caster modifiers. We're going to be using a jagged fossil, which is more physical and no chaos. And we're going to be using a dense fossil. This one I kind of added in because dense says more armor, energy shield, or evasion, but no life. You can't roll life on the helmet anyway, or on a weapon. So the only thing this is really going to do, I didn't actually, I guess I probably should look to see if this can... Let me, let me look to make sure if uh, POE, if this can force anything on weapons. I don't think it can force anything on weapons, and I can check it here, but just to make sure. Uh, so, Dense Fossil, One-Handed Sword, One-Handed Axe, One-Handed Mace. Okay, so technically, it could roll 500 armor if you've hit an enemy recently, but that's only a suffix. And I think I'm okay with having 500 armor on a suffix over something else. Um, but the reason why I'm using it, and again, if I don't like it, we can turn it off, is it's going to remove physical attack damage leached as life. It's going to remove life gain on hit, and I think life gain on kill. Uh, so it's going to trade out three mods for basically one. So I think I'm okay with that. That seems honestly pretty good. So that's how we're going to try fossil crafting our current weapon. Uh, I've got pretty much everything here. Well, actually, these are my fridges. Uh, I have my serrated fossils. I have my jagged fossils. I'm sure I have quite a few fucking dense fossils, so that's no problem. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, before we get this started, I also want to do one thing, and we are going to use perfect fossils because our goal is to get 30% quality on this weapon since we're going big dick all out. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we need to get some little baby alchemical resonators. And let me just scour right now and quality it up. Just to confirm for you guys, it is exactly item level 83. So we're looking for, oh, that's 29%, but go big or go home, right boys? You know, I also just realized I don't even know how to calculate the physical damage of this. Because I, I don't really feel like doing math either. So that's an interesting thing. 17%. I should have just went with the 29 to be honest. 15%. Yeah, I really should have went with the 29. And the reason why I say that is because... I should be using these on my maps as, like, chisels. Fuck! That's okay, well... Well... How many perfect fossils do I have left? 
One, two, three, four. Not too many. Another 27. Okay, we'll take 29. 29 is fine. All right, so here we go. We're going to try our first attempt at crafting. So we are going to pull out a nice, powerful resonator. And we're going to go serrated, jag, and dense. I don't know. Here we go. I guess, I guess one, more, one more thing to show you guys before we, before we actually hit this. Our goal and what we're looking for is and now i'm not really too sure on the elder versus shaper um this is the main thing i was talking about here so elder prefixes can roll physical damage socketed supported by blah blah melee physical shaper can roll uh physical supported with added fire but i don't really want added fire but at the same time i don't really want melee physical so i'm pretty sure instead of these rolls the goal is to get like these rolls um, but again, I could, I mean, fucking 0.07%, I could totally be wrong. So here we go. Fun crafting time. Wabam. It rolled really bad. That rolled really bad. How did it even roll like elemental? Like, I don't even understand. Doesn't it say no elemental? Let's try again. Let's, let's go again. Here we go. More attack for you, caster. Maybe I'm not supposed to be using the dense, but it seems like the dense would make sense, right? Upgrades are rare item with new random properties. More physical, more armor, energy shield, evasion. It can only roll one armor roll as a suffix. More attack, fewer caster, no cast, no life. I want to see that top end go to like 400. Oh, 170. Okay, that is also really bad. Let's just make sure. Yeah, that's really bad. So, let's go again. Dense, serrated, jag. Go. That's also bad. I think. That doesn't seem very good. Because it did roll the added fire, but I have no flat fizz. I have, I have no flat fizz. I have a low crit roll. It's not. We're not. No. This is, this is, big boy. Okay. I need at least like four usable mods on here. This is nope. Dense, serrated, jag. The other option is making it so we roll no elemental, but I don't know if rolling no elemental is really good. I can try no elemental, it's not gonna hurt. Well, I think I need to scour that, actually. Is that a hybrid? What did that roll? That's, uh, that's not good either. Let's take a look at what elemental would do. Let's, let's just take a look here. So... If we were to, say, remove dense and keep the life gain on shit, and use corroded, which is more poison bleeding but no elemental, it would remove, if I just search elemental, it's gonna remove elemental damage with attack skills, but it's also gonna remove all three of these. What does it remove from the right side? It removes three resistances. But we're, we have bleed more likely to roll now. So let's try it like that. So let's do corroded. Because the, the suffixes, as important as the suffixes are, I think the prefixes are more important to at least get it started. I know I know, I can lose the Ellie pen, but like, again, I, if I don't get a weapon, then I don't get a weapon. It's pretty rare to lose like the shaper pen anyway, like to even roll it. So here we go. So we're gonna do corroded, serrated, jag. Of course, the one time I don't use fucking the the stupid ass what is it called fossil? It rolls double leech. <laughs> double leech. Okay. 
where's my where's my dense fossil? I'm telling you, dense is so good, dude. So let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my standard method. Or maybe you know what? Maybe I don't need to use a serrated. Maybe serrated is. Hold on, hold on. Can I even roll caster mods on this? What is even a caster mod on here? Fewer caster mods? What is considered a caster mod? It's not even like removing anything. I don't even need to use a serrated. Caster would be on a scepter, would it not? So I don't even need it. So we can actually do jagged. What if we do jag corroded dense? I don't know why you keep telling me to use prismatic. I don't want these Ellie rolls, dude. I'm trying to roll a physical weapon. Jag, corroded, and dense. Corroded, dense, and jag. Jag, dense, corroded. Here we go. Okay. Well... This is not good, but it rolled better than anything I've rolled before. Because it rolled dual block with shit fizz. Shit fizz, hybrid shit fizz, and fizz. So at least it rolled all three of the rolls, it just didn't roll them good enough. Jag, serrated, corroded. No, 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 no serrated. Corroded, jag, dense. Dense. Dense, corroded, jag. Okay, this one rolled. It even rolled the armor roll, actually. Uh, tier 5, tier 7. It's got tier 1 bleed, Kappa. <laughs> At least it's getting the rolls now, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's definitely a good sign. Corroded. We're almost out of... We're almost out of Jag, dude. No, dude. Wait, do I even need to use Jag for more physical? Because it can't even... Well, I guess... Yeah, wait a minute. Do I even need Jag now? I don't even need Jag. Guys, I don't want to use my 0.01% sanctified fossils. I'm happy crafting this way. Thank you, though. It doesn't remove flat Ellie. Corroded removes Ellie. Means I don't even need jag fossils. Corroded and dense. Corroded literally says no elemental. Dense says more armor, energy shield, or evasion. No life modifiers. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to just roll it like that. Corroded, jagged, and dense. I feel like alt crafting is easier than this shitty fossil crafting right now. I But I swear you don't need to use jag fossils. It doesn't make sense why you couldn't just use corroded and dense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like spam it for a little bit and try corroded and dense. Why do you guys keep telling me to look at Shudder and you're being so annoying? We went over all of these before I even turned the video on. 
Shuddering Fossil. More speed, no mana? Speed is a suffix. We need to craft prefixes. <laughs> How many Shuddering Fossils do I have? Dense, corroded. Here we go. Yeah, now it's not even rolling prefixes. That rolled... So you do actually need to use Jag, because look, that literally rolled one prefix and three suffixes. So you have to use Jag. This is the last one, then. Here we go. Well, it rolled, it rolled 9% block with okay fizz. I can technically craft flat fizz, but that's not that good. It doesn't look that good. It just has fizz and crit. See, I feel like it would be better to just alt craft at this point. We're not looking for cold damage to attacks. We're scaling physical damage. It's a physical build. Unless it's maybe a tier one cold roll, probably not gonna try to use it. I would much prefer to have the prefix all be physical oriented. Didn't give up on fossils, I don't have any more left, dude. That's good. Tier 6 flat physical though. I mean, that's good. If that was cold, that would be good, but that's not cold. That's tier 2. Reduced attribute requirements. Area damage. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we're gonna alt spam until we get something decent. And then when we regal and it breaks and bricks, then we're gonna... Oh! Then we're gonna spam. I mean, it's not the best, but it's fucking something, so maybe I get merciless? That's not merciless. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Added fire? Nope. It got the added fire roll, but nope. Gems are supported by level 20 MAME. Physical, 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 gain 38% of physical as extra fire. That's a, that's a yummy. Why is it that crafting stat sticks are better than like, easier than crafting main hands? And stat sticks literally like triple your damage. Okay, we rolled the maim, but no. Physical, physical, nope. Nope. Nope.
I mean, that's like, even that's not even that good. I mean, you say you'd keep it, it's triple prefix, it's triple suffix, has no crit, has no attack speed, garbage weapon. This is probably like the most usable I'm gonna have, which I can suffix this for crit, but I mean, even that's not that good, that's like... That's like shit. <laughs> like, because that's what? That's tier 7 flat fizz and tier 4% fizz? No. I mean, you can definitely see here, though, the power of Jagged Fossils compared to, like, trying to do this. Jagged Fossils, like, always roll on your benefit. Let's try, uh... I'm gonna try two more of these. Uh, no. I mean, hold on, serrated says more attack. Why can't I use serrated instead of... Wait a minute. Maybe serrated will work instead of jagged. Because one says more physical and one says more attack, but the attack modifiers are physical. Well, the attack modifiers are not caster and I can't roll elemental, so I think that's good. Let's try this again. So we'll do dense, serrated, and corroded. Do I have more corroded? I do. Corroded. Serrated dense. Okay. So, this is the best one I've rolled. It's not the best. But it's the best thing I've rolled so far. It has crit. Like, it has tier 1 crit with shit and shit. It's okay. Uh, but can I do anything with it? I mean, I don't even have Vagan, do I? I completely forgot. I can't. Because you can't... No, you can't really do anything with it. So I'm gonna just... One, two, three... Serrated... Corroded. 
and dance. Oops. Corroded, serrated, dense. Dense, serrated. This is the last corroded? No. We are pretty much out of fossils, though, so... We are running low, boys. Now we're done, boys. This is it. Corroded. Serrated. Dense. One to two! One to two! Physical! <laughs> One to two! No! It could have been alright, dude! It could have been decent. It rolled... Does that have suffix? It would have had a suffix open for crit. No, dude. And no? I'm not gonna annul that. That's garbage. You guys give really bad advice, Twitch chat. I think we're out. We don't have anything left. We're done. Two eighty DPS isn't even that much, dude. I don't want a two eighty. I want a I want a fucking OP needs nerf or bust. That's the whole point of fossil crafting, right? Is to like get your targeted craft. At least he gave me an idea of that there's like a bunch of different ways to craft it, so that's at least nice. I can just go like target farm and get some more fossils. Back to alt spam. Fuck it, dude. I mean, you can't do anything with it. Back to alt spamming. I mean, that's not that good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Use essences. Yeah, just rip all my essences? No, fuck essences. I've, I've used enough currency on this shit right already. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Ooh, oh, that's bad, never mind. What do I do with that? I mean, if it hits, see, the thing about crafting is you could always say, if it hits. If it hits, tier 1 fucking percent fizz. Or it could roll tier fucking 117 attack speed. Crafting maces suck ass. Ooh. Why? Why is it all why, man? Every time the the little fucking one to two, one to three decides to fucking sneak its way out.
mean, 18% attack speed, I guess it's worth augmenting. It's tier 2 flat physical, but... See, I don't know, if I get a tier 2 flat fizz, am I supposed to regal? Because... I mean, is tier 2 worth regaling? Like, what is the chance of a tier 2 dropping? That's the- that's the question mark part. PoE app. Uh... I hit a tier 1 roll, boys! Actually, no, that's- that's still tier 2. Come on. Come on, baby. That's a tier one flat fizz. Come on. Oh, bleed damage. Why bleed damage? Does it gain 40% of fire, but I can't use that because the problem is the jewel doesn't allow me to splash fire damage, so it has to be pure cold, so. I guess the cool thing about SSF, though, is like anything that looks sellable, you just re roll because you can't sell it because you're SSF. Is that tier. Oh. That's not a hybrid, that's two separate rolls. 21% attack speed. Oh? Oh? I mean, that's not that good, but it's... If it rolls tier 1... Okay, ready? If it rolls tier 1 flat fizz, we, we just craft crit and we're good to go. It rolled 8% fire resist. Pog, champ, a risky. I mean, I would, I would take that too, but that's, that's a tier 6 roll. That's so bad. God damn it, but it's got pen! What do I do? Tier 1 flat fizz! Fucking bleed duration. Be good. Be good. Be better. Well, it did roll better, actually, to be fair. But why does it have to be a tier 7 flat fizz roll? <laughs> be the bestest. Alright boys, we're pretty much like, I can't really rip much more chaos because... Because I have to like, you know, use it for like playing the game so I'm gonna use two more one more one more for good luck I mean they look really mad but they're all really bad they're not good 
They're, they're all so bad. <laughs> Why are you saying keep? Like, what? <laughs> As a 130 top end has no crit. Like, this is garbage. <laughs> you won't get much better. Do I need to, like, remove you guys from the channel for lack of life? That's a tier 1 flat fizz. But it's got a shitty cold res. Tier 3 attack speed, tier 1 flat fizz. <laughs> what do I do with it? I can't, I'm not gonna exalt it. This is garbage. I'm not gonna fucking slam it. It's got a cold res roll, dude. No. If I craft it, it doesn't have crit, and then I don't do any damage. Craft it. You want to know how I'm going to craft it? Fuck you. It's been crafted. That rolled tier 5 flat fizz with tier 2 crit. No. Tier 5, though, that's that's not good enough. It's got the pen, but it's not... But is it good enough? <laughs> it's... It's not. It's tier 5. No. I mean, it rolled, it rolled the decent physical, but this fire is. I don't know why you guys want me to annul. Like, exalted orbs are more common than annul orbs in SSF. <laughs> Asking me to annul is the equivalent of using, like, 1.5x on this. Two to four fire. Oh, there's the 10 pen. Oh, there's a 59% fizz. Oh, those may have been hybrids. I didn't even look. Oh, well. That could have been it. That could have been it. That could have been the perfect perfect right there. Actually, it couldn't, because those would be two prefixes, and you can't get two prefixes, so never mind. Not like on blue tier. <gasps> oh, that's, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Give me tier one. Merciless, merciless, be merciful, okay? I need the fucking hubba bubba tier one, 179% increased physical damage. Eyes closed. I already know it, dude. I can... It smells like a tier one roll all the way over here from Texas. I'm going for it. Fucking life get on hit, dude! God damn it! Why? Why, dude?
God damn it! Take a chaos orb, bro. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go again. Okay. That would be so good, but no. Mana gain on kill. First life gain on kill, now mana gain on kill. Oops, that was a low flat fence roll anyway. Why is it so common to roll that fucking fizz's extra fire? Strength roll. Yeah, but a scepter is gonna be like 50 times more difficult to roll than is than a mace. Unless I'm using fossils every time, so. That like that's good! That's an insane stat stick. That's literally a stat stick that gives you block while dual wielding and physical as extra fire. The problem is the glacial hammer jewel specifically states can only splash cold damage. get more single target not when you're scaling cold pen oh oh it i mean what do i do with it though it's got crit multi crit chance and flat fizz but i <laughs> i that's no it's not pog dude there's nothing to do with it. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have percent fizz. It doesn't have attack speed. It doesn't have hybrid fizz. Slam it. Okay, I'm literally just gonna do this just for the fucking sake of this YouTube video. If you've watched this long, if I get life gain on kill, I'm flying through my window right now. It's happening. It's, it, this is literally the worst decision I've done in the past, the past 24 hours. I already know there is not a single good thing that is going to come out of this, but somehow, some way, if it rolls merciless, I will jump for joy and, and fight a walrus tomorrow. What did it roll, chat? What did it roll? What did it even roll? Oh, I rolled attack speed! Oh, shit! What do I do now? <laughs> like, it's stuck! <laughs> do I just- I just craft- Okay, no, I'll just craft. Okay, that's actually good. I mean, no, I'm not slamming again. Fuck you, chat. No! No, no, I have to mastercraft it. I think we found a weapon, boys. We got- I think we made a weapon. But the problem is, my Vagan is you know like... Oh, he's level 6. Uh, maybe maybe we'll slam it when we get another one, but not right now. Uh, where's the fucking... Where's... Hey. Uh, 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 what does Vagan's bench look like? At your service. Sharpening wheel?
So I can just craft... Oh god, that's so bad. It's only 79%? It's... It's, it's only 79%? Can, does it go higher than this? Does Vegan 7 offer a higher percent craft? No, it, dude, if I slam it, it literally it can brick. It can just it can just die if I if I do it. Illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Hey, Kabuzzle with the four month resub. Much appreciated, dude. This is two pref. Actually, you're right. It's it's sorry. It's double prefix. It is double prefix. So then, what what would I do? Hold on. Do I do I craft and slam? Not slam then craft. You would craft and then slam and then remove it and then slam again, right? That's, that would make sense to me. Or maybe, maybe, but wait, 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 wait. See, here's the problem. You guys are telling me to block stuff, right? The problem with blocking is that blocking implies that I have a level seven vegan to fucking remove the craft after so I can unblock it. <laughs> but I can't, I don't ever help vegan, so he's only level six, so I can't remove it. So this is, this is the project weapon, it's done. It's done until further notice, okay? I mean, I can vegan craft it, it's okay, but like, yeah, we're gonna just vegan craft it, and this is unfortunately as good as we get. That's it. We can always just level vegan to seven and remove it. Okay. What is, what is the physical damage on this one? Like, three point garbage garbage? At least it rolled, it's good attacks per second, and it's okay crit. It didn't roll the highest crit. But it's all right, so didn't roll the highest flat fizz either. Is it lower than 280? It's probably way lower than 280. It's only 225 top end. Exalting it right now would only make it better. Exalting it right now would only make it better. The problem is that you don't want to exalt it like this though. You, what you want to do, in my opinion, is you would remove this physical craft that I rolled now, craft something you want to block, and then slam it. I don't want to block 72% physical. The ideal goal is to slam a higher physical roll than Vagan can offer. That would be the ideal goal. And then you can just craft something else. I can slam percent hybrid, but I don't want to do that. Again, in my opinion, sorry chat, in my opinion, it would be better to cancel something out. I don't want to cancel out the percent physical. I would want to cancel out something else. So this is the weapon that we got. 287 DPS with crit multi, attack speed, and crit chance. It's not bad, right? It's, it's okay. I mean, it seems pretty good to me. Check odds of slamming Merciless. Check odds of fucking slamming anything. It's... It's... <laughs> Alright, anyway. Alright, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed me wasting so much currency so you guys don't have to. Maybe this will help you guys out in the future and crafting your weapons. You don't need to watch a guide. Just watch a failure. See, a failure is way better than a guide because then you just do everything that the person that failed didn't do, and then you're only left with the good stuff, right? So, so what did we learn from this? We learned that if you're confused, use an Exalted Orb. Don't regal it, just use an Exalted Orb, and you'll get good stuff. Anyway, that pretty much sums up the video. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you boys all later.